Und jetzt bewohnen wir eine Sad Aber War Apple Pro, Apple iPad Pro, 12.9 inch 6 generation device. Of course, it's the same process with all other iPads out there. The first step is we switch our device on on pushing the power button on the right upper side. Then the device will be booting into the system. And then you come to this point here. You can choose now your language, okay? Let's uh, look here. A lot of language are possible to choose as you can see. That's cool because mm, let's perform English. Now we select our country or the region. Where is your home? Where are you going to use this iPad Pro? In Afghanistan, in Allen Island, Albania, Algeria, America, Samoa. Uh, I choose Germany. So here we can see we now select our country and our language. The language we will perform in that language um, now. We perform this again and the location is for, uh, for located uh, um, services, for example. Now we have the possibility to make a quick start. We bring our current iPhone or iPad near this iPad to sign in and set up. If we have one, we can perform this. If our other iPhone or iPad doesn't show options for the settings up this app, we make sure that it's running iOS 11 or later and has Bluetooth turned on. We can also set up this iPad manually. So if you does not have another iPhone or iPad, we have to set up manually. Now, written and spoken languages. The following languages are commonly used in our region. We can set up our iPad to use their settings or customize them individually. You see now the preferred language is English. The keyboard is in English UK. You can choose like you like your your, your need. Continue. Now, this is important. We have to choose a Wi-Fi network. Of course, you can make a wide connection too, but for this, you will need to connect this iPad Pro with a personal computer or a Mac where iTunes is running on. We are now have this possibility to perform this with a Wi-Fi network. We go to our network, we choose our network, and now we have to enter the password of the network. This is um, this is most of the time it's under the router, okay? But most of the time, uh, on the other hand, you have to ask your admin or you know your password. After you entered your password, we can now go on with the setup process. After you entered your password, we join this network. And of course, if we join the network, the iPad Pro will phone home, okay? It will say hello. And this may take a few minutes to activate our iPad. That means your router and your Wi-Fi uh, network needs an internet access too, okay? Job's done. Now we have an information here, data and privacy. This icon over here, this icon, appears when an Apple feature asks to use our personal information. We won't see this with every feature since Apple collects this information only when it needs to be enable features, secure the services or personalize our experience. Apple believes privacy is a fundamental human right. So every Apple product is designed to minimize the collection and use of our data. Use on device processing whenever possible and provide transparency and control over our information. We can learn more if we like, but this is, I think it's, good, uh, it's enough. Now we have to enter Face ID. The iPad can recognize the unique three-dimensional features of our face to unlock automatically, use this Apple Pay and make purchases or subscribe to services from Apple itself. So, okay, let's perform this. We are going to make Face ID now. First, we position our face in the camera frame. This is over here. Then we move 
our head in a circle to show all the angles of our face. So let's perform this. We get started now. Here we are. I hope you can see this too. I'm going with my face in front of my device and now I can rotate my face around. Job's done. Continue second scan. Here we are. Let's go. Make a circle here. That's good, isn't it? Yes, of course. Here we are. The face ID is now set up. Now we have to create a passcode. A passcode is fundamentally important that other person cannot enter into your phone or into your iPad here. Face ID provides convenient and secure access by recognition of our face. Accessionally, the passcode will be required for validation. This is if, for example, we make a if we perform a reboot the system or after a big update. So now you can enter a passcode. This is not the right passcode for you, okay? You will get a better one, okay? Use anyway. We have to repeat it, and now we created a passcode to enter into the device when the face is not working well or the reboot is uh, performed. Now, apps and data. We choose how we want to transform apps and data to this iPad here. We store from iCloud Backup. If you have other devices from Apple and you have enabled the backup function, then you can restore it here. Out the out of the cloud, it's easy. Restore from a Mac or a personal computer while you have a wired connection. Transfer directly from the iPad. This is the fast access. Move data from Android. This is possible too, but only once if you have a setup process. And we are going to don't transfer apps and data because we are new. Now we have to sign in with our Apple ID to use the iCloud, the App Store and other Apple services. Apple ID is the key for all your Apple devices. So you have to create an Apple ID. It's for free because this device is expensive enough, isn't it? So we have to create an Apple ID and the Apple ID is an email address. So you have to go um, forgot password or don't have an Apple ID. And then you have to enter your email address, your data in it, name, the last name, address, country, region, da, 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 da. and of course a passcode. And if you enter this, you have to confirm this um, in an email, in your email client. And after this, you have an Apple ID. And this Apple ID you will get um, enter here. Apple ID email and then the passcode of it. After you enter the passcode, you are going to the terms and conditions. Okay, you have to read them all, of course, yeah. You can read the iOS terms and conditions. You can send it by email to your email address, as you can like. If you disagree, you cannot use the IRS system here, of course. So we have to agree that setting here. It may take a few minutes to set up our Apple ID because our Apple ID, as I said before, is the key to enter all and um, sync all your Apple devices and the iCloud services and um, the uh, everything. Okay, everything in the Apple world is um, is connected with the Apple ID. So don't forget your Apple ID. If you forget your Apple ID, of course you can reset it by uh, uh, by the the, the, the Apple.com, of course. Now we have to enter the iPhone passcode. Okay, we enter the passcode, but this. This here is only if you have another Apple device. If it does not have an uh, Apple device, you don't have to perform this. But in my case, of course, here I have other Apple devices and this is another step. This passcode protects our Apple ID. It saves the passwords and other data stored in the cloud. Our passcode is encrypted and cannot be read by the Apple itself. So I, I, but only I have to enter now my iPhone passcode. 
This is a step if you have Apple app and other Apple devices. After you enter this passcode, if it is necessary, you go to the next step. The next step is then nearly at the finish line. But we have to perform a little step more, of course, of this setup of this um, Apple iPad Pro 12.9 inches, 6th generation model again. We make this now to our new iPad. Here's everything set up as we did before in our other iPads, if you have one. For example, in my case, you can see apps and data, don't transfer apps and data, settings, appearance, screen time and more. You can see here appearance is dark, screen time is on, display zoom is standard. But this is my setting from the iPad before. App Wallet, there is an, an other um, card included. So we now go to Customize. If you are new at this scene, we come to this directly. We keep our iPad up to date. Okay, we get the latest features, security and improvements automatically. We will receive a notification before iOS software updates are installed and we can choose other options in the settings every time. Then we have location services. Location services allows maps and other apps and services like Find My, which is really important to enable this feature, to gather and use data in the setting, our approximate location, okay? So if we disable this location services, we cannot use, for example, the maps function or a lot of other functions. So we have to enable location services, but you can choose by yourself. If you don't like this, you can choose disable. And now it comes app pay. We add credit, debit, or store cards to Apple Pay to make secure payments in apps and on the web. Here you can see there is still one card inside, so I have to confirm this now. But now we go set up later, okay? Now we can choose the screen time. We get a weekly report with insights about our screen time and set time limits for apps we want to manage. We can also use screen time to children's devices and set up the parental control with that. That's cool because then you can see how much time you are with your iPad Pro. Let's continue this now. Of course, you can set up this later, um, then, then you do not have the screen time report. And iPad analytics. This helps Apple improve its products and services by allowing analytics of usage data from our iPad. We can change our devices later in settings too. All data is collected using privacy preservation technologies such as differential privacy and is not associated with our um, with us to, to, to our account. So we can share or we can don't share. But take care, we are a big bunch of family and this makes this product better anymore. So maybe you share it with Apple. Now the same thing, but with app analytics. This, this helps um, the app developers to make better apps. You can choose, share it or not. Now it comes with appearance. We select a light or a dark appearance and see how the iPad is just depending on which uh, one we choose. Let's choose now dark. This is my thing here. I like it really much. But for the video, I would uh, keep it light. And now we are in the system. Get started with our new iPad Pro 6th generation device here. And we are in. So you can see now we can navigate through the uh, home screen. That's really cool and intuitive. It's really easy. You can see I can rotate the device. It will make the same turn uh, uh, with us. And now we can choose. Let's go to, 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 to some apps. Here we are, we are in stocks, for example. And if we load an app and we like to go back to the home screen, we can make it 
slide from the bottom up. We are at the home screen again, as you can see. Of course, there are more gestures. Okay, we are, for example, we are in an, in an other. So here, voice memo, for example, we make this gesture and then we come back to the home screen. We can navigate right and left and right and left. If we swipe to the right side, we go to the app library. And you can see a lot of pre-installed devices, apps are here, like FaceTime, files, reminders, maps, home, this is smart home, camera system, app store with over 1 million of, of apps are waiting for you, books, podcasts, Apple television, and settings. And of course, here messages, here is the web browser, um, iTunes, mail services, calendar, uh, video photos, um, and a lot of other apps. If you swipe from the bottom up and hold it there, you can make choose between still running apps in the background and you can go to them quickly, as you can see. Of course, in this setting here, you can shut down these apps. You will not um, uh, remove these apps, but you will re remove the running app in the background. Now we can go to the left side and you can see here are some information like um, status of your device and it's not uh, 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 synced right now. So there's not a lot of, but you can make edit and you can choose and add other things. You can see here re reminders, uh, calendars uh, and so many other um, things you can choose and sort it that here. The next step is we go in the center again from the upper side down. This is the lock screen. Go up to come back to the home screen. If we slide what's wide down on the right side, you can see here brightness level of your screen, volume, um, focus. Here you can make a lock that it does not move while you tip, for example. Here we can go to the flight mode. Here you have the Wi-Fi settings and Bluetooth settings and, 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 and. So, for example, now we go to the camera app and you can see the camera app is still online. And you can choose between videos, slow motion, time-lapse, photos, portraits, square, what you like. Of course, you can uh, rotate the camera system, front and back camera system to make a photo. You can push volume up or volume down, or you make this gesture to lock this back to the ground again. Here you can see to um, remove things, a widget, for example, we push and hold this and remove it. To remove or sort an app, we can remove or edit the home screen, then we can um swipe here a little bit and sort the app where we like to get them in center so this is the basic features but there are a lot of more features which your ipad pro sixth generation comes to you that it is an awesome device thanks for watching please subscribe me and give me positive feedback. And I hope to see you again on my channel. Soon soon.